so it was all locked down and uh, because i was teaching my students and they were very young kids so their parents uh, said to me that please don't come sir to teach my, our kids because it is a it is a it's an it is a pandemic that is going on so i was out of job out of uh, earning for myself some money so i immediately thought that uh, if i continue to stay in in the city in which i was living at that time i will have to pay my room rent every day and because i am i am not able to earn any more because all my students parents have denied me to come to their place to teach their kids whatever i was teaching music and mathematics whatever so i immediately thought that it would be hazardous for me so then i decided for myself to go to the kailash mountains where i visited before also while i was traveling uh, there are four kailash here in india and i have visited all four of them twice each right i didn't visit the fifth kailash because it it is in tibet and i don't have a passport neither i am going to apply for a passport ever because i don't need it and it is not a necessary thing to go to kailash in tibet so i just don't want to do it so i decided then because i was out of job i decided for myself to stay in a place which will cost me the most economical price and there came the thought that you sh- you must go to kailash so i went ke- to kailash in himachal pradesh uh, which is known as mani mahesh kailash and uh, because everything was locked down and no trekkers were there anymore no trekking groups were there either so i found a shop where i found a like a, a distributor uh, where he used to uh, give tents on rent and sleeping bags as well so i asked that person to give me a sleeping bag and a tent for 3 months approximately because i'm going to stay at kailash for 3 months for 90 days so he gave me he first he denied to give me but then he gave me a torn a little bit torn apart tent which was like uh, of no use or of very minimum use for him he gave me that and a sleeping bag for 3500 bucks and he said that when you will return it to me i will give you 500 back so 1000 for one month so that was the economical thing which i was my basic motive was that to stay in a place which is which will cost me the most economical price so i took that tent and that sleeping bag and because i carry very little luggage with me i just have two clothes two pair of clothes at that time and even now also i have two pair of clothes only so i kept my luggage i on on my back and i went to kailash all alone when i was going uh, many people i met uh, like the villagers over there and they said uh, that uh, it is very dangerous for you to go to kailash at this time because there will be heavy snowfall there and there will be the temperature will be too too low there and uh, which scared me at first because i didn't have any uh, i didn't had any uh, uh, winter clothes warm clothes with me but uh, i thought uh, forget about it if i die I, it's good okay so i went up uh, to the main uh, mani mahesh kailash the main spot of it and there were glaciers i crossed glaciers i even i dropped once uh, almost 200 meters on a glacier thankfully i was saved i just caught some wounds on my left leg okay but nevertheless so then i when i went uh, to kailash i installed my tent and my sleeping bag and i started living there uh, and what food you will ask what food did i take with me i took uh, chickpeas if you know them if you are familiar of them and i used to uh, put them in water overnight or for some hours and when they used to get swollen up i used to eat them i i stayed literally on the chickpeas swollen chickpeas for 90 days for 3 months and uh, that's all was my that that that's all was my food and i used to shit and pee uh, <laughs> behind a large stone there because nobody was there so it was all my kingdom because it was locked down everything was locked down and nobody came there uh, there was this uh, pond there lake which had half 
warm water and half was cold water although the warm water was dirty unclean and the cold water was clear so i used to take my bath i i didn't take bath for like every day i didn't take it because there was so much the temperature was so low that uh, there was not needed a bath was not needed so i perhaps i took bath for one or two days in those 90 days time i used to drink water from that same lake i used to uh, put my chickpeas uh, to get swollen up on the, taking the water from that lake and that was my routine and during the night times as per what was i was told that the temperature will be too low during the night time i used to check the temperature on my mobile and uh, the maximum temperature that i found was minus minus 25 degrees centigrade right and it was 5653 meters altitude right above sea level so all this was happening and uh, i was staying there uh, during the night time the, the night used to come very very early uh, in the mountains it is it is like that in the mountains it's like that the nights come very early the sunset comes very early so whenever the night used to dawn i used to go inside the sleeping bag and uh, inside my tent lock it up completely but uh, still it was too much cold that uh, what i used to do is that i used to wear all the clothes that i had the couple of jeans i used to have couple of denims both the denims i used to wear at one time both the shirts i used to wear at one time <laughs> everything i used to wear whatever i used to have at that time i used to wear it go inside the sleeping bag lock it up and lock the tent but still there was too much cold but the organism can survive okay and it survived because otherwise i wouldn't have been here and all this was uh, before this channel was started right so i didn't have any i was not uh, clicking any pictures uh, recording any videos because i'm not uh, interested in that i tried i have traveled all over india almost but i don't have a single picture with me of anywhere right so i don't because i don't i'm not interested in that right so that was the thing and what i was uh, what i used to do there people ask me whenever i make them listen to the story they ask me what do you what do you used to do and i used to say to them nothing i didn't have any books i didn't have anything right uh, so people used to ask me that uh, what you were doing in the kailash uh, what was your time pass there how were you passing your time and first of all this is a very absurd question there is no need for passing your time it is already getting wasted every second because the whole existence is nothing else but a misery so what i used to do what i remember and what was my favorite thing to do there as i told you that i used to check the temperature on my mobile phone and because the temperatures were too low so the mobile phone my mobile phone used to get discharged very often and very quickly uh, at night it was pitch black there pitch darkness i couldn't even used to see my hand in front of my <laughs> eyes when i used to lock up my tent and sleep uh, so i used sometimes uh, if my phone had some battery i used to light up the torch in it the flashlight of the, my mobile phone but my mobile phone used to get discharged very very quickly so uh, i used to go 9 kilometers almost 9 kilometers down down to the mountains uh, to find a place uh, a cemented area perhaps it was made for the trekkers that uh, who come there like uh, occasionally in every season in every trekking season uh, perhaps it was the place for their base camp basically so it had a charging point mobile charging point so i used to charge my mobile over there and to charge my mobile phone over there i used to trek down nine kilometers almost and at that place there was this open area and in that open area there was this family of himalayan vultures whom i used to see there was this mother vulture and they were like huge uh, beautiful creatures and uh, there was this mother vulture and uh, father vulture and the mother gave uh, birth to a baby also and they used to teach the baby how to fly 
and i used to see all that that was my entertainment that that was the priceless entertainment that i was getting from there and uh, gradually the baby learned to fly and then he flew away and never came back and <laughs> didn't bother about either his mother or <laughs> his father uh, or her father or her mother i don't know which <laughs> what was that baby vulture and neither the parents were bothered about it that my kid went away after we made him or her to fly he went away and he never came back he is not fulfilling the responsibilities that you have for your parents and all that he is not supporting us in our old age they were not crying and moaning like foolish idiots there like we do so all this was i was watching there and this was my routine exactly my routine it was mechanical as hell it was not something special don't don't translate it that i was living a very grand kind of a life a dream life i was living no it was absolutely mechanical and as mechanical as what we live in our so called monotony and monotonous life so this was my routine exactly the same routine of my those 90 days and uh, that's how i spent my uh this period of lockdown i was uh, everybody was locked down but i was uh, freed up <laughs> so to say in mount kailash right and uh, you can see the image on, on the on the video uh, when i went back this these images i clicked right after coming back from that mount kailash after 90 days and uh, during those 90 days i because i didn't shave so my beard was <laughs> the nature was showing its uh, tremendous intelligence on my face as my beard so before shaving up before trimming my beard i clicked these photographs and i i thought of sharing these photographs with you guys on this particular podcast right and uh, when i came back i just took a room which was extremely dirty but he gave that room to me for just 150 bucks and i only had to spend one night there so i just took it and i hopped in and i took bath and trimmed my beard and all that came up uh, returned to my <laughs> normal ordinary look and then everything was back into business whatever monotony was there it was back uh, that monotony that i used to live in kailash during those 90 days was over and this monotony was back so that is my journey of 90 days that is my uh, story of 90 days spent on the mount kailash 5653 meters above sea level at 25 minus 25 degree centigrade temperature maximum i found out that was the maximum minimum temperature in which i lived my organism survived and that's all that's all was happening during those 90 days i was uh, watching snowfalls every now and then and uh, in 2 minutes within 2 minutes it was heavy sun and within 2 minutes it was snowfall it was like that in the mountains the climate changes like your mind as it changes the climate change on the mountains <laughs> so that's all uh, for this podcast uh, i just thought of sharing this little incident of my life it is nothing special let me tell you don't try to copy it because it is very very dangerous uh, i i had no other option other than this that's why i did it otherwise it is not needed for your organism to go to mount kailash and spend 90 days over there on chickpeas that that will be your food and uh, torture yourself uh, i was not having money enough money that's why i did it i was helpless there was no other option for me so i did it it, it, was, it was not a necessary thing to do and don't try to copy it <laughs> much less I, i i'm not going to copy myself ever <laughs> right so that's what my suggestion would be to you also so that is it for now and uh, i will see you next time uh, before finishing this let me add this thing also that no matter how much you try to live 
a natural life it is not possible i already told you this thing on the podcast that i made just a few days ago on the natural man no natural man exists and no natural living is possible <laughs> for the human beings strictly otherwise everything is fine out there right those vultures were fine absolutely fine there right so that's all the thing and that's all for this podcast as well